Yerd, what is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Feels like it's been a minute and there's no better way that I want to do a trailer reaction review with a Marvel trailer reaction review. This is a Marvel game that is highly anticipated that kind of got leaked, I want to say, first and then... It got confirmed, and now we have a story trailer. I believe there's more stuff. There's like a deep dive, and it's like more to the story trailer. I'm going to save that to after the trailer. If it's, I'm going to watch it and react to it and give my reaction to it, give my, um, my two cents to that at the end of the trailer reaction. But again, if it's not like something worth, like if it's not gameplay or anything like revolutionary that adds to the story trailer, then I probably won't add it to this video. I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. So this is the Marvel 1943 Rise of Hydra story trailer. Let's go in. Let's give it a score. Let's go. Ooh. Will raise me up a little bit so you guys can hear me. Searching house to house. If they Ooh. arrest you too. They will take you to their headquarters. Rest you, you too. Will not return. So it's Cap. Oh, whoa! I'm he has to concerned go. with a six-foot Cap man who's got claws that can cut through vibranium alloy. <laughs> oh shit! He's talking about. He's talking about um um Black Panther. I thought that was Wolverine for a second. I seen his scratches. I was like, wait, that's four. By my count, that makes two super soldiers loose in Paris. Oh, counting you. And that's two too many. Ooh. Be there before the sun rises. Oh. Before the Germans, before that American. Ooh. The eye of force has been. That's failed. that's that's Black Panther. That was him. Hydra. Please. Oh, is this gonna be on some Assassin's Creed? Just stick to rooftops. Be careful. Stun was on me. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. So Black Panther might be stealth. You may. Encounter some obstacles. That won't be a problem. Mm hmm. Okay. Our cat friend is definitely here, too. By the look of things, he's not very far ahead. The American boy is right on your heels. Oh, okay. Who are you? If the you story. Were dead, we'd be dead. So, what do you want? The story is told through two, like, perspective type shit. That's far enough! Stay out of my way! Stay Mm -hmm. I do not take orders from anyone. Mm -hmm. I don't have time for this. Neither do I. Oh, let's fucking go. 1943. Let's go. I'm about to fucking drop a tear, bro. Let's go. That looked fucking great. Rise of Hydra. Okay. Okay. Coming 2025. Okay, they dropped the date. Not, uh, not a month, but we got a year. That's great. That's coming the same year as fucking Grand Theft. <laughs> but oh, and this is the this is the thing I was talking about. The tech demo. All right, all right, all right. Before we hear from Amy, that was a fucking 10 out of 10 fucking trailer. Like that was exactly what I want to see. With tra are we going through the trip? Yeah, we are going through the trailer here. All right, so I'm going to do something that's a little unprecedented. I gave my trailer reaction. It was a 10 out of 10. And this is like a trailer breakdown, it looks like. We're going to be talking about the trailer. So let's go into it and watch this. And when they show the trailer stuff, I'm going to stop and get my two cents into it and stuff like that. Thank you, Kim. Uh, and look, we are so excited to finally show what we've been working on at Skydance New Media. Um, and I just got to say, I am so proud of what the team has accomplished. My God. It's incredible. Right? Um, Amy, I'm sure the audience is wanting to... Did I have it too low? It's all right. I mean, I can't go back and fix it now if I had it too low. As the trailer hopefully illustrates, uh, we are creating a story-driven World War II era Marvel action adventure game with an ensemble of playable heroes. Okay. But here's what's important to Ensemble know. playable Where heroes. This isn't some custom demo. That we made just for this show. That's our game. That is your right? game. Right? All the sequences okay. you just saw in that trailer are all pulled right out of our game, 
running real time in Unreal Engine 5, no smoke and mirrors. Yeah. Cap. Cap. Show us. Bullshit. Show me. Do some video game shit. Move Captain America around or something. Um, <laughs> right? With many of your past projects, you're really bridging the gap between films and games. But this is a whole new level. What's different nowadays compared to the old days? Yeah. Well, look, I mean, the quality. You and I have known each other for what? Over a decade? The graphics. Decade, right. And we immediately hit it off. And I think it's because we've been chasing the same dream, right? Yes. Which is to create richly interactive experiences that are cinematic, immersive, but. Damn, her jacket doesn't have a fucking wrinkle on it. Look at her fucking jacket. <laughs> and in the past, this has always felt like it was just beyond our grasp. But I think we're finally crossing that threshold. Yeah, we're trying our best. Yes, we're trying our best, yeah. And look, when we're telling a character-driven story, it's critical for us to be able to really faithfully capture and honor every nuance of our actors' stellar performances. So we've been incredibly grateful to be able to partner closely with our friends on the MetaHuman team to tell our story. Okay. Tell us a little bit about the visuals in the game. Well, again, thanks to Epic and the Unreal Engine development team, we've been able. So to this is on Unreal Engine Five. Okay, that's kind of believable. That that this is the same people that had the Matrix thing, right? Of visual fidelity that enables us to present this authentically grounded Marvel universe. Okay. All right. Well, let's go. Authentically a bit grounded. That was her words. That the team has used by firing up a level in the game. So <laughs> fire up a level in the game. Okay. Let's do it. First, I'd like to introduce two of my colleagues. Colin Hennen, our cinematic animation director. My guy got a camera. Hey. Look at him. And Roman Adiola, our director of photography. Director of photography. What is he going to be doing? So Colin will be live and editor, and Roman will be on the virtual camera, just like he is at all of our performance capture shoots. So, okay. if you all are ready, let's switch the feed and go back to that bridge environment. The bridge environment? And let's see. Yep. Well, you're live. Good. Okay. So, Colin, let's boom down and take a closer look at this environment. So, so he's playing with really the camera? Okay. Characters and environments have to work together harmoniously. Okay, that's what he's doing. Just drop believable characters into a less than convincing world. So, we need to start with authentic and densely detailed environments. Okay, I didn't know he was going to do that. I didn't know he was going to control it as a fucking camera. That's cool. occupied Paris. We needed the word world to have a really believable and it's like a flying drone. Grit. That's dope. As you can see. I know they can do that. So Roman, why don't we focus on the ground here for a bit? The ground. Show your shoes. Look at that. That's an amazing amount of detail. It would have been nearly impossible to get something this complex to run in real time without the new features in 5.4. So Kim, let's talk about some of the levels of detail that we're seeing here. Sure. We so, see snow, we'll mud, water. This new adaptive tessellation feature. So, whilst Nanite lets you create environments like you're seeing here of incredible detail, yeah. memory requirements can become impractical to realize for such a level of complexity across a huge level without the need mm -hmm. for lots of instancing. And we thought that was a challenge and we wanted to deal with it. Mm -hmm. um, so, Colin, let's actually strip this scene right down to the dirt so folks can see what we're talking right about. Right down to the dirt. So, okay. See how simple, this is relatively simple ground. Plan. Yes. Actually, let's, um, let's show the triangles so you can actually see what's there. The triangles. the triangles. Let's pop it back to the beauty render view. Okay. Um, but with this new dynamic tessellation capability, we can actually displace that simple geometry and create new three-dimensional geometry of the quality that you're used to with Nanite. All right. With nothing more than layering tile textures and using shader logic, you can make incredibly complex effects. So instead of me trying to explain it, let's get Colin to show the magic and uh, let's show the, the magic of this face. Okay. This technique allows you to see an unprecedented level of geometric detail, okay. but it's also memory efficient and can be changed dynamically in the runtime of your game. So things like footprints or tire tracks or even supernatural effects, <laughs> if you such want, so would want them, can be visualized. Okay. And just to show how this ge simple geometry has now been transformed, Let's have a look at the triangle view again. He said such a supernatural stuff. What so you expect from Nana. maybe, he's, so it's you know, really, really small maybe talking about stuff that may be in the game? Supernatural stuff? Games well, you are talking about a Marvel game. Crazy amounts of in World War II, right? Back to the, uh, detail view? Thank you. She said um, World War II. Of course, on. As you can imagine, this technology isn't just used to right? the ground and for the ground terrain. It applies find to Nazis. every detail in the environment. So let's fly over to that pile of objects on the left over there. 
for example. Pile of objects on the way. Do. Can you kill those headlights for me? Cool. Thank, thank you. <laughs> okay. So imagine our challenge. That's fucking We're trying cool. To authentically recreate a harsh winter in occupied Paris. That means every prop, every object, every detail, every rooftop needs to be realistically blanketed in snow. Okay. So now let's show how we can dial up the snow accumulation on these objects. Right? That's and of lit. We can dial it back as desired. It's making me feel chilly, actually. Yeah, actually, it's a little cold up here. It's not um, making me feel uh, chilly. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, of course, like Kim said, thanks to this technology, this is all actual geometry. So you can see how tools like these would really empower even a small team to art direct and set dress their environments dynamically. That's it cool. enables our artists to create a series of layers in the environment and then build up the complexity layer by layer by layer. Now, speaking of set dressing, let's go check out that fire barrel over by the watchtower we saw earlier. Fire barrel? Right and let's turn on a light to really illuminate the smoke coming out of the barrel. Thank you. Look at that. That's amazing. We could have That's never cool. achieved effects this realistic in the past. So this is what obviously we call like come on like we know like we know with particle sprites but that's kind of a cheat that often breaks down <coughs> and can look flat it's nice from afar but far from nice as we say back in the uk <laughs> um so if we look at the glow in, of the fire on as it dynamically illuminates the volumetric smoke you can see that that light transmitting through the volume you can also see that the smoke itself is sh casting shadows onto the world yes. but also itself these volumetrics can also mix with more traditional effects as well. So if you do want to put particles in there, fog, or even cards, you can do it. It all works in a, in a unified way. You can run the simulation, the, the smoke simulation, in Unreal Engine natively if you want, or you can import open VDB data sets as sparse volume textures, resulting in film quality visual effects, volumetric visual effects, all running in real time that to are totally responsible to di responsive to dynamic lighting. Yeah, and it, it, it just looks incredible. Now, mm -hmm. uh, of course, all of this is just to help us tell our story, right? And the story yes. is nothing without great characters. So let's head back over to the bridge and catch up with Cap. Now, an essential part of back any up persona, Cat. particularly oh. a hero, is their look. And it can be really distracting if the outfit doesn't look as realistic and believable as the rest of the world. Okay. You can see Cap's leather uniform fits just like you would expect in real life with all the correct material properties. And the I guess. And the creases forming as he moves. Oh, okay. This is where we can effectively use the machine learning. Oh, they stopped him. Oh, does that say where he broke? Set up and run complex <laughs> simulations in a package like Houdini and import that data into UE. We then use this to train an ML model. This is crazy, bro. That run in real time. This looks crazy None good. This matters without great facial performances. So let's bring Azuri, T'Challa's grandfather, and our Black Panther into this scene, this time with his mask off. But I know who oh. you are, Captain America. Oh, yeah. shit. Okay. In red, white, and blue underwear. What? That shield that you hide behind does not belong to you. Nope. You are unworthy of it. Ha! <laughs> right, and as he pauses here, Roman, why don't you go in really close and really show everybody the detail that we have in these models. Um, it's, it's insane, right? Yes. Like, uh, it's essential for us to retain every nuance of the outstanding performance that our actor, Kari Payton, brought to Azuri's character. What you just saw there... Were That's fucking human great. Mm -hmm. So working with the metahuman process, we've been able to honor working with a meta. What is what is she told metahuman? That's an AI software. Digital performances. Now, of course, it all starts meta with human talent, and we're fortunate to have two of our cast with us in the audience today. So I'd like okay. to introduce Drew Morline, who plays Captain oh. America. We got them right there. <laughs> Black Panther and Cat. The war, war. Uh huh. And uh, and Kari Payton, our Black Panther. See, they hug. They're friends. <laughs> I want to take note to that because they they make sure to tell us they make sure to tell us that Steve Rogers, aka Captain America, that this guy is the World War Two era Black 
Panther. Maybe there's more than one Black Panther. Maybe there's more than one Black Panther in the game. And, uh, and Kari Payton are Black Panther. See, they hug. They're friends. They're not really fighting. <laughs> it's all good. Um, and of course, I want to take this opportunity to thank them and the rest of our wonderful cast for going on this incredibly crazy journey with us. Uh, and now, as a special treat, uh, let's take a look at the entire bridge scene that you saw earlier. But this time, we'll keep Azuri's mask off to really showcase what we can do when all this incredible okay. talent and all these amazing features come together. Okay. Remember, this is running entirely in real time. Yeah, we, we... All right! When she said that earlier, I thought that was Cap. But yeah, this is... This is insane. That's insane. I'm here on the business of the United States government. Yours is not the only business here. Yep. Stay out of my way. Stand aside. I do not take orders from anyone. Not Turn from around, you. Boy. Go home. Look, pal, I don't know who you are. But I know who you are. Yep. Captain. America's <laughs> hero. Dancing around in red, white, and blue underwear. Some man dressed like an overgrown house cat. That shield <laughs> that you hide behind does not belong to you. Yo, that shit looks fire. I don't have time for this. Bro, this shit looks... In yeah, that shit looks insane, bro. We're gonna get... Come on, don't tease us with the fight. Show us the fight. Show us. <laughs> that shit look good, though, bro. That shit looks fucking amazing. All in engine, and just to show there's no cheating going on. Hey, Colin, can you show the editor and the sequence of timelines? <laughs> oh, so really okay. Is Unreal Engine. We don't, we don't cheat. Yeah. Okay. So, absolutely incredible. I've never seen performances in a video game that are so believable. Okay. So telling the action. I can't wait. It's going to be yeah. so good to play. Uh -huh. Anyway, okay. Amy, Colin, Roman, thank you so much. Okay. Again, I don't I don't want to I didn't want to keep this long, but that trailer, the first trailer is a 10 out of 10 for me. I can't wait for this game. I think what we need now is a good refresher when it comes to the Avengers characters inside of video games. I think the last Avengers attempt was a good attempt, but didn't stick the landing. Um this cap is okay it looks okay black panther looks okay the world is okay i guess i just i kind of i kind of want to know more of the story I, I mean i get i get i get it the rise of hydra so they're trying to stop hydra black panther and captain america now i don't know the story that that happened between them and i know they was fighting in, in world war ii i could be wrong with that um captain and black panther here but i i kind of want to see somebody behind the sticks play the game we kind of got that here but they was just more focused on the cinematic stuff and the storytelling of it and i get why because this is like a oh uh, what that that was a like unreal engine showcase that's going on right now and that you know we are gonna cover the fortnite stuff in a bit yeah that that's insane that's insane and uh, this looks great um yeah so let's just end it off right here let me give it a 10 out of 10 let me know what you would give this trailer in the comment section below like always guys i answer all comments so let's have let's have that conversation down there if you're new around here consider hitting that subscribe button do videos like this every day talking call of duty fortnite pokemon wherever wherever i feel like dropping the vibes on i drop it here on the channel so again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos into recommending it so other people can check out the videos peace i love you guys i'll see you guys on the next one